Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. And today I'm cooking with the Unifira 12. I'm cooking a steak pizza. Let's do it. I've made the pizza. Let's go and check the temperature of this oven. Keep going on about how much I love that. And yes, it's nearly 500, far too high. So I'm gonna stick my pan in again and wait for that to come down. It won't take long, about 60 seconds for the heat to come down on the stone using this pan. I'd rather get it up too hot and bring it down in temperature rather than be too cold. Oh, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna put the door on. realized what I do when I put a pizza in and I do it with all my pizza ovens is that I pull the crust that I've put in at the back I pull that round straight to the front to see how intense the oven is and the flame and everything it's like a guide for me so I know then how many times to rotate and how quickly to rotate the pizza oh and I'm keeping the door off here which I said I wouldn't do because out of habit and um, let me just put the door back on a little bit more at the back and we're done
So this is my second ever cook with the Unifira 12. Look at that base it's cooked. But I'm really impressed with that base. Nice. So let's give the steak pizza a try. Very nice. I did have the door on and I felt the benefits of that when I was cooking, but I also felt the benefits of taking the door off at some points during this cook. So when I pulled the door off, I could see the flames being pulled forwards over the toppings and the crust. Like my first cook, bit of door on, bit of door off, just using your senses of how the cook's going to decide when to do that. Crunchy wood pellet crust, nice and crusty. It's a 200 gram dough ball and 63% hydration. Um, I think that's why I've got a bit of a crunchier crust. Mm -mm -mm. So very pleased with my second cook. I found this was as easy as using gas. So I pulled it right up, kept the pellets going until I was ready. So the temperature of the oven on the stone went to about 500 in the center. So all I did was stick my cast iron tray in there again. That brought it down in maybe 40 to 50 seconds. And I had the exact temperature I needed. I think my stone was slightly too hot, even though it registered at 430 degrees centigrade in the center. I felt because I'd taken it up and brought it down there was an intense heat underneath the inside the stone I find this is more so in a wood fired oven rather than gas fired because they don't normally get that hot so I hope you found this useful take care and I'll see you soon bye and don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com link is below